closet. So you really wouldn't have been able to see much. No, you probably can't see much now. But I got my sheetrock up. And as per the usual, I completely measured from the wrong side. So the option was to either have two giant holes, two giant holes in my sheetrock, or uh, hang it upside down, which is what I opted for. And I'm just now realizing that I'm probably going to have to put a whole new light thing in anyway, because I don't think that drops down enough to be able to get my, uh, my things in. So that sucks. So I'm going to have to rethink that. But in the meantime, so I got my hole in there and I basically I went and I got some boards, some tall sticks and I got them braced down here on the bottom. And uh, I had this, had this laying up against this wall. And then I just kind of, and then it just, I just kind of, I just kind of hefted it up and set it up there and squeeze one stick into place and squeeze another stick into place. I got two screws tacked in this end, one tacked in this end, because I had to go get some more screws and now we're about to finish it up. And uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that light. Okay, I made it work, but it was an absolute subtle gun. And uh, which is why I don't have it hanging, because I will just, I'll put a piece of cardboard against it and I'll paint all around it when I paint the ceiling. I gotta fill in all my holes. I gotta fill in all the the holes that are in the wall where some shelving was. So that's the plan. I'm gonna take a break and cool off. <laughs> Just like a little lavender color. The closet's gonna need another coat if I don't do the lavender, which I may just do lavender in here too, but I'm not sure I have enough. I got a lot of white, so I may just throw another coat of white on this. Um, I may go ahead and try the sprayer since everything in here is white. Take the uh, take the take the globe down. 
I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I should have done the spray from the get go. That should have been my. That should have been my go to. But color lays on better than white. I think for some reason I didn't have to. I didn't have to go super crazy in this room. But yeah. I, uh, and I just ran out. I got a pair of the walls, which is why I'm stopping. I got screws I got to take out. I got to take all, the, all these strips. I got to take off the trim on the top. Um, I got to sand down the holes. There might be more holes behind these boards. Uh, there's definitely holes in this wall that need to be repaired. Like I said, I was just running out the paint that was in the roller and in the pan. And uh, I get to work. Got to take these safety windows out. These got to come out. Light just came on. That's how bright it is. So, I can't begin to tell you how sunburned I am from being outside for the last two days and the weather being so nice that I just completely forgot that I'm a ginger and I all but burst in the flames under the sun. So, it was 80 degrees, close to it, felt wonderful. I didn't sleep with a damn last night, I was just so... Um, let me go ahead and uh, start doing some stuff. Like, man, oh, I guess I left my light on last night after grilling. Smart boy. Whoo! That sucked. This ramp. This ramp? That's not a ramp. It's a. Uh, me not lucky, right? I gotta look into that. I did get a, uh, <clears throat> I did get a, a seven blade connector to wire into my, how you doing there? So hopefully, hopefully that'll be into the copacetic region and I'll be able to uh, get some shit done. Get some shit done legally, like with my, with my lights on and whatnot. So there's the, there's the infamous mailbox that I may or may not have mentioned. Oh my goodness, she's a monster. Lost the keys the first day. Maybe the second day. That's the base plate for it. And that's gonna be the in the ground post. That part's going to the ground. But uh, yeah, I can't figure out for the life of me what the fuck I did with the gut dang keys for it. Must have fell out of my pocket somehow and I didn't hear him hit the ground. I don't, I don't have any clue, don't have any clue. So I had to order, I had to order more. And order more I did. So that sucks. 17 bucks down the drain. Okay, I don't have a mount in this truck yet. So here's the situation, all the situations. It is a situation. <clears throat> I know it's silly, but I don't want to use this truck for work. <laughs> I'm really kind of upset that I'm too nice and I promised my son the S10 when we got a new car. And because uh, I was thinking about it yesterday when I was staying in that uh, pole, that post it's gonna, that my mailbox is gonna sit on that, you know, I like it having a work truck that I don't care about, that I can beat up. And if I only take it around here, you know, field truck, farm truck, I could just, you know, keep it uninsured, unregistered, stick a, stick a, a an orange triangle on the back, be a little farm vehicle. I can still take it on local roads around here and whatnot. But no, no, I'm an idiot. And I gave it away. And uh, on the, I also gotta get the cup holder reducer, cause look at the ridiculous nature of this business. Like, we didn't get a coffee yesterday morning, had coffee all over the inside of the console by the time I got home, so, no goo. Okay, see what we're getting into. So obviously, she ain't opening. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna have, literally have to cut through the top of the hood all the way down. Just cut down the hood. I've never used this at all. I have no idea what I'm doing. Gas on. <laughs> Camera fell down.
Oh yeah, I brought like eight blades. Cause you know, I know Diablo is a badass, but I'm like, well, I don't know. I've never cut through a car. So easy. So sharp. So easy, so sharp. Look at all the dirt and grass in my new truck. Right. Okay. Son of a gun. Okay, so I'm gonna try to wire this sucker up. I got the Suburban cleaned out and I got my big amp cord that cost about a hundred bucks. Still gonna have to buy some RCA cords. Still gotta buy a new speaker box. If I don't wanna use my Alpine, I gotta buy a new deck. That looks like a double den, so I ought to be able to put one of those nice decks in there. Um, get a backup camera combo so I can see this hitch, so I ain't got to get out the truck every time. But that's probably going to be a while off, because I'm not really... I'm not really super duper interested in doing that right now. I can't believe how clean this truck is for 60,000 miles. Okay. <laughs> We have to use y'all tap the brakes, see if they light up, and then uh. Okay, so I got brake lights, I got left signal, I got right signal. So the only thing I need is just tail lights. Okay, yeah, still got no tail lights, and I have no idea why, but I don't care. I'm just gonna button this up like this because that gives me brake lights and it gives me turn signals that's all i care about i'm not driving at night hardly ever anyway besides for all i know it could be a problem with the truck right Smart boy.